Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. I believe I know exactly what this is. And you probably already know because you've looked at the thumbnail, right? Um, thanks, uh, thanks so much to... Yes, it is. Going Gear for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I will link this right down in the description. This is... We're ready. Here we go. The Going Gear EDC Club monthly box. They send me the premium one. There are two different versions of this box. There's the um, the budget box or the the entry the entry level box. And then this one's more expensive. The items in this box are always the same, right? I have to be clear about this. So you're watching the box for, I believe it's April. Everybody's getting the same April box. It's not like the influencers get the nice box and then everybody else gets random junk. No, that's not how it works. Everybody gets the same stuff, right? Uh, but it is, uh, it is. you don't really get to know, right? That's the thing. Um, so the benefit of watching this video instead of going for the box, which you absolutely can do, and it is interesting and some people are going to find value in it because the total value of the items in the box is always more than buying the items individually, which is beneficial for some people, especially if they sell the stuff that they don't use, but it's not always beneficial for everyone. So the benefit of watching this video is knowing that these individual items exist at Going Gear, and then you can check them out individually instead of going for the box, right? So um, I want people to understand that you can take this video as a benefit, you know, regardless of your position. Right? It's your choice if you want to go for the box, but if you don't want to, then check out the stuff that you want to check out, right? What kind of... Oh. <laughs> I'm being dumb. Uh, I was like, what is keeping me out of this box? All right. Oh, we got a bench made in here and a bird. Okay. <laughs> Not expecting to see a bench made in there. That's going to be for the premium box right okay here we go premium for march i'm sorry i said april it's march oh it's it, it it is it's beginning of april so this would be the march box okay cool good deal all right let's open up um is this this is the light. i want to see what the o light is first the o light gober safety light okay oops <laughs> i already I already tore it. I don't have time to open this slowly and carefully. I just, I do not have the time for that, right? We got to get, people want to see the stuff. All right. We got a little thing here. Safety light, a little carabiner, a little keychain, hook that onto anything. Okay, let's read about it here. Introducing the Olight Gober Safety Life Safety Light, the ultimate compact LED light for your outdoor adventures. With its 1.5 inch length and 16 gram weight, light is both compact and powerful. It features three high performance LEDs with four color settings: red, green, blue, and white, and a built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Uh, Lithium-ion, I imagine USB-C charging. Blah blah blah. Attached to your backpack belt or pet's harness for use as a safety. That's actually kind of neat. Okay. So, do we push, oh, okay, yes, I see. And do we have one on this side? Oh, and it changes colors. Ooh, okay, cool. <laughs> I might keep that. Um, yeah, okay, and you can switch it to, uh, oh, it blinks. Yeah, okay, so there's a whole bunch of different modes. And then to turn it off, do you just hold it down? Yeah. All right, cool, well, that was easy to figure out. I like that one. Value on that guy, 29 bucks. There we go. The Bird Stainless Steel Metal Lark. That's, um, I would have, oh, yeah. You know, I saw Levon from the Knife Nuts, Pod, Knife Nuts Podcast showing this off, and I was like, where did he get a steel metal lark, right? Which is, Bird, is, I know a lot of people go, that looks like a Spider Co. Hey, they're ripping off Spider Co. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Bird 
works under the same umbrella. <laughs> it's it's all the same company. So you can you don't have to get on your little bicycle with your little siren, right? You don't have to hand out flyers, huh? Go around telling people. You don't have to do that. You can just sit down, breathe, right? You didn't just discover some big, horrible, dark secret. No, no, no. You don't need to save anyone. Now you know, right? <laughs> they even ripped off their box. They used the same box, but it's green. Shh. <laughs> Relax. Ask questions first. Ask questions first. <laughs> That's the better way to do it. You're such, you're so mean, complex. <laughs> we were all new once. It's all right. I'm just poking fun, right? Uh, metal. I'm not a big fan of the steel, but it's a forty dollar knife and comes in stainless steel, right? I mean, I, I don't know if I want to complain too much about that. Birds are budget spider coats, like extremely budget spider coats, and they make more sense than spider coats budget spider coats, right? Spider Co's budget Spider Co's are birds that cost $20 more for no reason because they're still using HCR MOV. So if you're going to buy a budget Spider Co, buy a bird. That's honestly what I think, right? Dave and ripped off the Spider Co pocket clip. Okay, calm down. Relax, my guy. All right. Here we go. Next up, and that's a four, that's, did I say that? $40 knife. Great. Okay. Tech Accessories Embright Beacon Morale Patch. This, oops, tore the thing. This is a yellow rectangle. Um, let's read to learn. Ask questions first. Um, and bright beacon morale patch, two by three inch in size, featuring tech accessories, um, proprietary glow technology, okay, which shines up to 12 hours when exposed to sunlight or UV light. Really, up to 12 hours? Holy crap. The patch is hook uh, and loop attachment, making it easy to attach to any flat surface with loop fastener material. Okay, all right. See, this is why we read, right? <laughs> I was judging it. I thought it was just a yellow rectangle. <laughs> I was like, you guys are getting bold <laughs> with this stuff. It comes uh, with a, <laughs> a mating strip of loop material and can be used for both indoor and outdoor purposes. Okay, so let's get a... Let's get a powerful flashlight out. And where's my, oh, I was like, oh my God, did I seriously just lose my Citadel? Uh, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So oh, let's get it on this side. You know, little, 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 little. We're gonna charge it up. I can see that it's charging, yes. It's becoming powerful, yes. It's absorbing the power, mm, okay. Now let's turn off the lights and see what we've got going on here. Oh yes, it is. It's a very glowy rectangle. Mm. Now if it if it really is going to hold this um, this charge for that long, um, then uh, that's really impressive. I mean, I don't I, I, for obvious reasons I'm not going to leave this video on for 12 hours. I think that's a little bit that's a little bit intense. Although I I, I have to admit it would be funny. Um, but, um, it does, <laughs> holy crap, man, it does, <laughs> it does seem to be holding that glow pretty well. I guess we'll sit here for a second. It doesn't really seem to be calming down, right? It seems to, it all, <laughs> it seems to be wanting to go pretty hard. All right, let's, uh, let's turn it back on. So this, that thing is 19 bucks. Doesn't really surprise me all that much. Okay. What's this? We have the Nandori, Nandori trick towel. It's a towel. Hmm. All right, I'll calm down and open this like a sane person with the obsidian toenail here. Let's open it. Ah, release your treasures. There we go. Okay. Uh, Nandra, Nano Dry Trek Towel, small Nano Dry Trek Towel is a perfect travel companion for anyone who wants a lightweight, quick drying towel made from high tech nanofiber material. This towel is both compact and absorbent. It comes with a convenient silicon travel case. Of the, okay, so it's a travel towel. Let's take a look. It comes with a little squishy container. <laughs> well, it does a good job of keeping it in there. 
Uh, okay, all right, it's a big, yeah, it's a big towel. I was curious about whether this would work as like a chamois, right? How much is it? It's also 18 bucks, okay. All right, so there you go, and then you just stuff it back in there. I imagine it works better if you like fold it up, which I'm not gonna take the time to do. And then finally, uh, the, oh, that has the charging thing in it. The final, excuse me, geez, I had a, um, what is this one? The Ultra Fiesta Mango Monster this morning. Of course, the, the bench made in here. Still one of the best priced USA knives on the market. Oh, the good old Mel Pardu. Yep. This is a knife that pretty much everybody should experience. Uh, one of the knives that um, really got me into Benchmade knives, right? I think this is a first for a lot of people. S30V, USA, nested cartridge liners, and the FRN material. A very, very good base for customization. Very few people, I think, prefer the plastic material to like G10, right? There are so many aftermarket scales for these knives, it is insane. These knives come in uh, with an MS, uh, a totally fair MSRP, and these really have not increased in price very much over the years. $144. In its base form, I think this is a perfectly fine knife. I will probably give this away. So if you've ever wanted a Benchmade knife, um, in fact, I will probably give all of this stuff away. I'm considering keeping the light because I think it's neat, but I'll probably give it all away, you know, so you guys will see it on all of this stuff over the course of various live streams uh, in the next month or two. Um, but yeah, S30V, USA made Griptilian, very good. Actually, Benchmade's fit and finish has only gotten better over the years. If you're somebody who used to buy Benchmade's and stopped buying them because you didn't like their quality control, let me tell you, as somebody who has handled pretty much every single Benchmade that has come out in the last five years, I can tell you definitively, and this is before Benchmade assisted in supplying knives to my channel for review, uh, their quality control has gone way up. Benchmade is doing an excellent job with quality control. I would not shy away from their stuff. Okay. So, if you want to check out the Going Gear EDC Club boxes, I will link them down in the description, or you can just go to Going Gear and buy this stuff individually, anything individually, if you don't want to bother with the box. Um, that's entirely up to you. I'm not here to sell you the box. I'm just here to open it and show you what's inside. Thanks to Going Gear for supplying this for, uh, well, I've actually reviewed everything except for the stainless steel metal arc, which I probably will do a review on. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.